Okay, so for question 8, right, um, this is a Inlingham diagram which tells us how does temperature affect Gibbs free energy. And as we know, right, Gibbs free energy from the previous question, we already know that delta G equals to delta H. Hold on. Right, delta H minus T delta S. Okay, so um, temperature does affect the Gibbs free in so far as the delta S term is involved. Okay, so this question, right, how do you want to solve it? You need to look at all the A, B, C, and D. Um, basically, find out if delta S, is it going to be uh, like a positive number? zero or a negative number okay because if it is going to be a positive number right the whole term becomes negative if it is zero the whole term will be flat so it will look like line number two okay and if it is negative the whole term will then become positive which means that it will be a increasing uh deep street Okay, so this will be, if this is positive, okay, then this 3 will be decreasing. So this will be slope number 3. If it is negative, the whole term will become positive, it will be slope number 1. Okay, so as you look at the options, right, I think, um, the only one that satisfy will be option D. Okay, because uh, number two, we see that there is no change. One more to one more. Okay, um, then for number one, it, is, uh, it should be a negative. Okay, so two plus one becomes two. Yeah there's a drop okay whereas for the third reaction it is one becomes two there's an increase there's an increase so that means that uh, it's going to be line number three all right so this question is about finding out okay what is the change in delta s and then what is the effect on the slope okay so find the change in delta s delta s whether is it positive zero no change or negative and then deduce the effect on deep three and then link to the graph Alright, okay, so that's it for question number 8.